Ozone Rehab Center, we don't know when it comes to security. We make sure the rehabilitants are totally secured. Just bring your drug addicted relative and watch us work on his transformation with the power of God. Wow.
don't know you are looking for it. I get what I'm saying. Yes. Let me give you the word of the day. I'll leave you alone. But the one that pops into my spirit, that will be the nicest one for me to share with you. We thank up. God that we, we, we woke up. We woke up all healthy. In some homes, some people have entered into some rooms and then the people refuse to wake up. Oh. And they are screaming. The body say, body say, body say, nobody can see anything. So if you are awake, if you are alive, you shouldn't take people for granted.
And we will not know that God has caused everything. That's how powerful it is. So God will not let you come into tomorrow without provision for you. He will never allow that to happen. When God finishes, then you say, this is the day that the Lord has made. Can you imagine? When he finish orchestrating everything for tomorrow, then he, God, can boldly say that this is the day that he, the Lord, he has made. And I command you, based on the provisions that I've given you, you should rejoice and be glad in it. Oh. 
came back to Ghana and I told the guy that a car is coming, you know. Don't take money from them again. Leave them.
able to stand by yourself to pray. If the only time you pray is when they ring this bell, oh no, you are, you are not in a relationship with God. I didn't get it. If the only time you pray is when they ring this thing, then they force you to come together and pray. You are not in a solid relationship with God because God likes one on one. I'm not saying that God is not accepting our prayers. No, He does. When we pray corporately. But God cherishes it when you isolate yourself and you say to yourself, I am going to talk to my God. God sees that you place value on the relationship. The prayers that are going to be answered quickly is the ones that you yourself, when people are playing drugs, they are watching movies. Say, no, I'm going to take five minutes. It's not how long we pray. And they don't put so much time on how long we pray. Don't put so much emphasis uh, on I pray one hour. So God must say, no, no. You can pray two minutes and God will give you. Two minutes. And it's not, it's not, it's not how long. I, I, I put myself under that curse before when I believe that God will answer my prayer if I'm able to stand up midnight, 12 o'clock, and pray to 6 o'clock in the morning. That was 6 hours. God cannot go anywhere. No. But later on, I began to walk in short prayer like this. Short, short. I can do 6 minute prayer and it will affect. Yes. Because if you want to have that mentality that if I don't pray at least 1 hour or 6 hours, God will not hear my prayer. Prayer became difficult for me. Prayer became a burden. So I'm going into prayer, but it's a burden. So I'm going to stop for six hours. Hey. Oh. And then I'm praying, and I'm out of, I'm out of words. I'm out of uh, desires. But because I, my faith is in time, that I have to pray six hours to be received. So even if I have nothing to say, I'm just going up in that. And God is like, no, no. Yeah. It's not it's not how long. But let the prayer be sweet, authentic, and connected by before God. Let the prayer be sweet. Let the prayer have you may you have a desire. So after that I stop that long, 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 lengthy prayers that carry no weight. If I'm praying, then I'm praying. And with me I can pray one hour. Because if I have to pray for each and every one of you, I can do one hour. Easily. Yes. By the time I reach God, then maybe I'm like 45 minutes. And then I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. By faces. I do by faces. So once I'm praying, then God flashes the faces to me. And when your face comes, then I pray according to what God is putting there. Yeah. So you can do that. yourself anymore when you are having the short short prayer there's power in the short short prayer and because it's short you are not bored <coughs> because it's short you know and then when you feel like I've, I've told God what I want to tell God they say amen it's easy for you to come back after five minutes again and pray okay father you know I just prayed five minutes ago but I forgot to tell you about this Lord I pray that even including the house uh, today let your food be good. Sometimes you have, to, you have to also pray for the kitchen staff. Even your food, you need to pray that it will taste good. Yeah. You need to pray for Miguel. You need to pray for Miguel. Because it can be very, it can be heavy on him. That you are cooking and people are eating and they, and they are still demanding more. And you are wondering, I guess two parts of the law. And the people are still not content. If you are not careful, he becomes like ghosts. He will take his rod and hit the rock. Yes. And, then, and then God will be angry at him. And with God, God doesn't understand why you don't make time for him. Why you don't ask him before you do things. God, I don't understand. You can never fight a battle, battles for God. God will fight his own battle. Me, the first time I read about Moses getting angry because the people didn't appreciate God, I was like, oh God, then you should be happy for Moses. But God said, no, no, no. No man can fight for me. I fight for weak people. People cannot fight for themselves. I fight for them. So if anybody will fight for me, then 
that means that person is stronger than me. So God said, no, no, I don't like that. So the reason why I have to kill Moses is because he was trying to fight my battle for me, and I'm God. I'll fight by myself. Yes, sir. 
you are free. You put his name back in the book of life. And let his blessings continue to Drugs, yes, to life.